fronts are absolutely stacked. Just have a look at that. Fabian Galtier's 42-man preliminary World Cup squad, which will have to go down to 33 come World Cup time. There are amazing players not even involved in this squad. There are some real young guns that I wasn't expecting to see as well. But overall, it's just crazy depth and strength in pretty much every position. Are we looking at right here the World Cup winners of 2023? It's quite possible. Let's have a look at France and their squad. I'm Tim, this is Egg Chasers. Had a little bit of a summer holiday, you might have noticed it's been quiet the last week, uh, but that is just the calm before the storm. The content is going to ramp up as we look ahead to, well, France. They're going to be involved in the first game Friday the 8th of September. I will be in France for the entire World Cup, bringing you loads of content. So please do hit subscribe. Loads of content coming before then. We've got the World Cup warm-up games. We've got just the next couple of months. It's going to it's gonna bubble up nicely. So uh, more and more content is coming. Hit subscribe. Uh, leave your comments. And yeah, let's have a look at the French team. And I thought what I would do is uh, break down by position. Um, so we'll, it'll naturally, we'll talk about a lot of the players involved on this list here. But we can just <laughs> demonstrate how good the squad is. And I'll make my prediction about who are the nine people that I think will miss out. And that is not even accounting for the fact that there are guys like Anthony Gelonch who you know was a, a starting back row player. He's got an ACL injury. He, he, I think he's back in August. I suspect he'll probably miss out on the World Cup. There's guys like, um, what's the name of the fly half? Ah, oh, um, Louis Carbonell. Sorry, I had a brain fart then. Louis Carbonell can't even get in the squad. Uh, so we'll talk about all this as we go through, but position by position, starting with loose head prop, where the three that will make the World Cup squad, to me, look like being Cyril Bay, Ray Wardy. And Jean-Baptiste Gross with the starting shirt being Cyril Byes. He missed the start of the Six Nations tournament. He came back and looked absolutely class. So he is a, he is a cut above, but it's pretty handy backup they've got. At hooker, three really good hookers. Uh, Bugarit, Malvaca, Marchand. Uh, I expect Marchand to be the starter. Malvaca backing him up. But Bugarit, look, it's been so good for La Rochelle. And just, I mean, that is a... Pretty tidy stable of hookers, isn't it? You'd be happy with that. Uh, tight head prop. Awini Antonio, Demba Bamba and Doriana Aldegheri. Uh, again, three solid set piece players. You can do a little bit more around the park as well. Demba Bamba's breakdown work. He's like another flanker. Awini Antonio is just um, a mutant. And he will be starting if there was a World Cup final this weekend. At second row, I've just picked three actually. And I did the same with England because Courtney Laws can cover multiple positions in the back row and second row. I think England will go with three second rows. I think France may just go with Paul Villemza, Thibaut Flamont and Roman Taufafinua. There's a couple of other um, contenders in the um, in the squad, Charleroi and one other whose name I've just forgotten. But I, I suspect, I, I, I can't decide whether France are going to go with 18 forwards or they could even go for 19. I'll get into that in a minute. But th those I think will be the three second rows We'll get to Cameron Wokey, but I think the starting two, Thibaut Flamont, Paul Villemza, really good balance. Roman Talfer Fenua is an amazing impact player off the bench. Back row, I think that'll be France's starting back row for that opening game against New Zealand. Friday, September the 8th in Paris. What a game that is going to be. And I think it'll be Charles Olivon, uh, Francois Crowe and Gregory Aldrit. Did him well in the Six Nations. They look good. Uh, without Anthony Jalonch, Cross has come in and, and looked really, really good. I still think one of those positions, I think Olivon and Aldrit will be ever present for France through the World Cup in the big games. I think Cross will start, but there's other players that could take that spot, including Cameron Wokey, could be used as a, as a back rower. Paul Pouden um, of La Rochelle, really been impressed with him. And he's jumped up in my uh, ranking ahead of Cretan, which is why he's not in the squad, or well, my squad at least, and Sekou Makalu, who can play back row and wing, which is very handy to have. I think those will be the six back row players. And that means, just going back to that, that means I've got 18 forwards out of the 33-man squad. I think there's a chance maybe they'll go for 19, because Galtier does love his 6-2 split when he's got Makalu as an auxiliary winger. Anyway, scrum halves. Baptiste Saran is one of the players that is back, along with Maxime Lucou and 
Uh, Antoine Dupont, obviously, uh, in the squad. There's Kuyu as well. But I expect Baptiste Saran to make the squad. And the way I expect it to happen is that Antoine Dupont will be the starting nine. And I think Maxime Lucu will be on the bench. However, when Dupont is not playing or rested or they rotate or he's injured, I think Baptiste Saran leapfrobs Lucu into the starting shirt. It's a little bit like with England. I expect the three fly halves to go. And I expect Owen Farrell to be the starter, Marcus Smith off the bench. But if Owen Farrell to get injured, George Ford would come in as the starter. I think it might be similar for Francis scrum halves, but stacked for talent. Same at fly half. Antoine Hastoy, uh, Matthew Jalibert backing up Roman Untermach. And uh, that is, yeah, no complaints there. Into the centres, Jonathan Dante, Moa Farner, uh, um, and interesting to see Arthur Vincent back. Big unit. And wh- who was it when Vakatawa had to exit the international stage? Um, Vincent came in a few years ago and looked quite good. He's been away a bit. He's come back in. I've got him making the squad at the moment, but I'll talk about what could happen there. But it, the starters will be Dante and Fiku. That is, that's, that's pretty tidy. Uh, with Moa Fana kind of as the... Moafana and well, Vincent and Moafana as the twelve and thirteen backups. Outside backs, well, um, I've got my wingers being Penno and Gabin Villiers with Ethan De Mortier, who looked really good in his first few test matches in the Six Nations, uh, backing him up as the bench. And then I've got two fullbacks in the squad: Thomas Ramos, Melvin Jaminet, and it will be Thomas Ramos. With the starting shirt. If you've been keeping count, you'll know that that's 32 players so far. And there's one more, one more spot. Who do I think will get that 33rd spot? Obviously, the the uh, World Cup warm-up games in, in July and August. There's, there's a chance for players to, to leapfrog and, and stake their claim. And things will change. But I think the contenders for this final spot are... Oh, there's... there's uh, is, yeah, there we go. Uh, Louis Bielbiare of Bordeaux, the winger. I think he's, is he still 19? Uh, Emilien um, Gaeton, who's at Pau. Who, and now he is a centre who can play on the wing. So there's an argument you take him instead of Arthur Vincent, uh, which is interesting. And Brice Doulan, he's the other player that's back in the French squad. Baptiste Saran and Doulan are the two names that were international players a few years ago have been out in the wilderness a bit but have now been brought back in so I think your choice with the 33rd man is do you go for experience in Doolan but a third fullback who could operate on the wing do you go for a centre who could operate on the wing or do you go for an out and out winger uh, who is inexperienced I would just roll the dice and go for the young guy not not because he's a young guy because he's really talented Louis Bia Barry, and I think because Ethan de Mortier seems like a Peno backup, and Biel Barre seems like a Gabby Villiers backup. But it's a shame they haven't got Arthur, is it Retier involved, that kind of scrum half winger, because then, then France could have gone for a 7 1 split. But um, I think my overwhelming response to France's squad is, and I'll, I'll end where I started absolutely stacked and understandably uh, are they still favorites for the competition it's it's only because of the side of the draw there on that it's it, you, you have those question marks because that quarter final is going to be brutal uh, whoever they end up playing uh, south africa or ireland you'd suspect but uh, that <laughs> that that game uh, in Paris is going to be something else. But the first game in Paris is up against New Zealand. I've told you who I think will be the starting side for it. Um, it's getting interesting now, isn't it? And it's getting closer. It's getting very, very real. Uh, more content is coming, World Cup related, rugby related in general. Let me know your thoughts uh, and get in touch in the comments. Hit subscribe and I will see you on the next video.